different types of girlfriends. If you're watching this video, you're either planning on reading about your girlfriend or you are the girlfriend. Either ways, let's begin. Different types of girlfriends. Dramatic. The crybaby girlfriend. This girlfriend can't control her emotions and sadly, everything makes her cry. Warning, do not watch romantic films with her. Especially The Notebook. Damn, that is the estrogen trigger to every emotional bombs there are. The Sure Shot Wife Girlfriend The day you went on your first date with her, you knew will like to marry her someday. She has all the qualities one seeks in a better half. It just fits. That glass slipper of Cinderella doesn't sound like a distant fantasy. It really happens. She loves and cares for you so much you can't help but love her back. Just something about her. Feels like a warm hug on a cold, drizzly night. You can't help going googly-eyed at her every time she floats by. A lot like love. I am grinning like an idiot. The materialistic girlfriend, aka Regina George, Mean Girls reference. You know she will forget your last fight and her angry state just evaporates as soon as you will unveil her new Prada or Gucci bag. She likes to flaunt her prized possessions and is happy at big things or gestures you do for her. Her Instagram is just flooded with these pricey babies. The Shadow Girlfriend Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? This girlfriend will do what you like, eat what you like, and listen to the music that you like. Every time her friends find her looking or doing things differently, they get to know she's dating a new boy. You will get to know the moment you will see she's doing the things that you do. Come on, woman, get your self-identity up and running. Advise her to be herself before you like to label her as mini-me. The casual girlfriend. This girlfriend doesn't care if you marry her or not. She's with you to have a great time with you however long it can be. No strings attached. Nope, no hidden agenda. Nope, no hidden bomb launchers in her backpack. She does exist. She's your best friend, at times your wingman. Yeah, you'll never get to see that last slice of pizza ever again, and she'll kick your ass in Counter-Strike. The let's click a selfie girlfriend. Selfies, selfies, and just, whew, more selfies. These girlfriends like to show off that they have a boyfriend, so every time you meet them, they will click pictures just to make her friends and friend zone friends jealous. Their speed to post pictures is faster than the speed of light. Hashtag FOMO. Hashtag YOLO. Hashtag WGAF. Hashtags are the new black. The Nagasaurus. These girlfriends mostly come with high maintenance, like are allergic to sun, dust, rains, crowd, your friends, your dog, your cat, etc. When you go to Starbucks, these are the ones with the most bizarre orders. A W espresso with 20 shots of espresso and 10 pumps of white mocha with just four ice cubes. And no foam! I'm allergic. The Mother Girlfriend Welcome to the world of women who mother their partners. It might sound sick, but it's much more widespread than you think. Why can't some women resist playing mommy? The short answer is plain and simple. Women are biologically programmed to bear and raise children, and those predispositions existed long before they needed to actually give birth, which means that when they're feeling an unconscious need to channel all the nurturing instincts, they turn to the most logical recipient, their partner. <sighs> Sigmund Freud is rolling happily in his grave right now. The clingy girlfriend. It's an easy guess. She's always by your side. Wherever you go, she will follow. You can't even poo in peace when she is around. Sting got it damn right. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. The bossy girlfriend. Needs no description. It's self-explanatory, duh. Let's just say whipped like a family pig. The batshit crazy girlfriend. She looks clueless sometimes. She stares at walls. She once cut her hair in a weird fashion the day after you returned from your trip to Vegas. You once caught her sitting by your side when you were sleeping, staring at you. Jeepers creepers. Let us conclude for you. She is a psycho. Dude, run far, run fast. The when will you bring the ring, girlfriend? This girlfriend fights over your promise to marry her, or she is the one who keeps asking you to marry her. She loves the idea of being around you and waking up with you, and those are probably the reasons she wants to marry you. Even if you bend down to scoop up your dog's crap, she thinks you are on your knees just about to pop the question. What a die-hard romantic. Aww. Aiden and Carrie in Sex in the City, anyone? The We Are Just Friends girlfriend. You have been dating her for over a year, but she or you have both been telling everyone you are just friends. 
It's pointless to ask the question, where are we? Because she'll just hand you another word from the online thesaurus, baffling you even more than before. You like to keep your relationship status a secret. Shh. Well, when it's under wraps, you know it's for craps. The cheating girlfriend. The entire world knows that this girlfriend has been cheating on you and you have no clue about it. Red flags, watch out for them. They are there, just get your freaking rose-tinted glasses off. The I have been trying to break up, girlfriend. This girlfriend always threatens that she will break up with you or she has been thinking about breaking up with you, but she just can't. She is just threatening you or she is addicted to you and you are her drug and fights are her workouts. Drama is Gatorade in every relationship. Name one that hasn't seen fights, but this is kind of toxic, so yeah, let's just leave it at that. The always jealous girlfriend. You can't talk about other women around them because they are always jealous, unless you are talking about your sister or any woman you know. At times, you find yourself renaming the existing phone book contacts to some masculine name just to dodge the avalanche of questions and doubts. Have you seen how the Night King brings that great wall to the ground? Yep, this one is bigger than that. Get the picture? The girlfriend who needs a companion more than a boyfriend. These girlfriends are rare, independent, and they like to do things with their partners, boyfriends. They can live a day without kissing you if you can spend your day doing things that she likes with her. Mostly, these girlfriends like to get drunk with their partners just to experience their crazy selves together or like to travel around with their partners. They are too cool in life. They do want to partner in crime, and at the same time, they are comfortable under their own skin and like some me time. The perfect harmony of you and I. The Rebounders, also known as the Palette Cleansers. They are in pursuit of a brief flirtation with the idea that they can move on swiftly into another relationship. In most cases, the life expectancy of such relationships is extremely short. One word, train wreck. The work girlfriend. She's your girlfriend between nine and five. Essentially, you are only together during work or lunch and maybe a few hours afterwards, but more or less strictly never outside of that. She shares your boyfriend's professional interests and sees more of him than you. The money-minded girlfriend. She's never insisted on paying for one of your dates. At best, she goes Dutch. If she loans you anything, she wants it the next day you meet her. She keeps a mental track of all the transactions. There is an old saying after all. She who marries for love without money has good nights and sorry days. She knows her priorities and got a good head for practical things on those shoulders. Remember what the late Robin Williams once said in a movie? Sometimes people call these things imperfections, but they're not. Ah, that's the good stuff. And so, recognizing we too have our own eccentricities, let us learn not to look at the imperfections of our partners with disdain or irritation, but rather with love and affection. After all, the greatest love stories are built around idiosyncrasies. So, just remember that love is beautiful and is an unconditional sentiment, and if you can work around her quirks and idiosyncrasies, etc., then there's no need for you to rethink your relationship. Comment down below what you are or what your better half is. Stay tuned for more Easy Peasy. See you then.